How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we are reacting to, this is a mouthful, The Billion Ant Mega Colony and the Biggest War on Earth by In A Nutshell. <laughs> Alright, so uh, as previously stated in the last video, I am doing nothing but In A Nutshell videos all this week, and uh, I'm actually doing them back to back. So this video is actually right after the one that I just did. But um, the reason is I'm going to take a little break during the uh, this week. But don't worry, there is going to be video still. So it's like I'm not even going to be gone. But uh, yeah, I feel like I deserve a little break because I've been doing this nonstop since I started doing reaction videos. So uh, yeah, I don't know why I needed to tell y'all guys that because it's literally like I'm not going to be gone anyway because there's going to be videos and stuff. So Blah blah blah. So without any further ado, here is the Billion Ant Mega Colony by In a Nutshell. In nearly every corner of the earth, ants wage war against each other. Yeah, they do. Their weapons are what like the last ant them. video I reacted Some to. Some have strong armor, deadly stingers, oh. or sharp mandibles. Ew. And then there's this tiny and not very impressive ant, but it rules the biggest empire any ant has ever built. What are we talking about? Spanning continents and fighting wars that leave millions of casualties. We're talking about fire ants? Let's take a look at this unlikely warrior S. Linipithema humili, the Argentine ant. I don't I don't know if that was fire ants or not. This story begins in the floodplains around the Paraná River in South America. Okay. It's a crowded ant megalopolis where oh. dozens of ant species fight for dominance, including fire ants, would... army ants, uh, fire and ants. unimpressive Argentine ant. Okay, so they're not it fire ants. It measures only oh, well. two to three millimeters in length, and with its small mandibles, it's surprising that it survived among its buff competitors. Is it really that Their small? Their are equally unremarkable. Their colonies range from fairly small to very large and can be found anywhere. Under logs, okay. in loose leaf litter, or the okay. former colonies of other ants. Here, really? Argentine ants prepare their most effective weapon against their competitors, bodies. Most ant species have Ugh. only one queen to produce ants, while Argentine ants... I feel stuff crawling on me. <laughs> for every 120 workers, there's one queen, laying up to 60 eggs a day. Wow. So colonies grow fast oh and have my millions God. Of, of individuals. <laughs> Teams that is a lot of ants, man. Frequently branch out and found new colonies. But this strategy has a downside. As colonies grow and produce a lot of offspring, mutations occur and new colonies oh. adapt to new environments. Oh. Their DNA slowly changes from generation to generation huh. and differences accumulate. So after a while, the ants that left the colony will become more like distant cousins and start to compete with their mother colony. Oh, okay. In their native South American I was range, like, where's the problem? That sounds amazing. Behave. Within their colonies, they are very cooperative and well organized. But okay. they fight vicious wars against other Argentine ant colonies and other ant species. That's kind of weird. With equally strong opponents on every side. It's like you're different. Argentine I don't like you. I was you. Extremely aggressive, fighting for every inch of ground. But it could never dominate its neighbors. It's a lot of ants, until man. Until humans showed up. Oh. We did what humans do and transported Ruin everything? around the world by oh. ship. <laughs> On one of them, a few Argentine ant uh -oh. hitched a ride as stowaways from South America to Madeira and New Orleans. In New Orleans, the Argentine why not? Ants suddenly found themselves in a strange world. Instead of being surrounded by deadly enemies, they found only victims. Nobody could fight them effectively. Oh my because god! Only a few Argentine ant queens were introduced to the outside world. The resulting colonies had very Am I the only ones that, that wants to see like a full edge On movie of, of this? That. The that would be amazing. Argentine ants Not that crappy. Ninety percent of their queens ants every year. Movie. That was terrible. Fewer queens, less genetic variation. So, as these colonies spread across the landscape, ants that left the colony were no longer considered distant cousins. Oh, as a result, okay. the new colonies form not opposing but cooperating parties called uh -huh. super colonies. Super this colonies. is a very uncommon strategy in the ant kingdom. Only a few of the 16,000 ant species have evolved super colonies. A super colony was oh, established on the man. west coast of the USA 
and became a base for the tiny ant's global conquest. Oh. Today, the Argentine ant inhabits Instead the ants just zones do like six zombies and many islands. This one super colony was especially successful, establishing sister locations in California, Europe, Japan, New Zealand, and Australia, forming one massive intercontinental mega colony of Argentine oh, ants. This is crazy. This makes them the largest society this on the Earth, scale. more numerous than even the human one. Oh. But their success has changed the ecosystems they invaded. How so? California is a perfect example of this. Okay. In their greed for more territory, the invading Argentine ants have overrun and replaced 90% of the native ant species, including several species of Californian carpenter ants. Uh -uh. Although carpenter ant workers are giants, these tiny guys like, Get out here. have only between 3,000 and 6,000 individuals and stand no chance against an expanding super colony of billions of Argentines. Yeah, I'm going to keep saying this, Argentine but the size of that of colony. Of toxic chemicals on their victims, oh. which irritates the enemy and marks them as a target for other Argentine oh, ants. Oh no. When they attack, the Argentine ants wash over their victims, the crap clinging out of them. onto their opponents in groups and pulling apart their limbs. Oh. Oh. It doesn't matter how many of them die, there are always more. Once the colony is and exterminated, the Argentine ants feed on their victims' brood I'm gonna call them and the zombie take ants. over their home and territory. The Just... Argentine ants' numbers allow them to hunt down and no, devour such an excessive mass of different spiders insects are adorable. that over time, some species yeah, disappear they can kill flies, from the ants' care. territory completely. Argentine ants don't care about working with the local flora and fauna, they consume them, and move on. Dude! And if their next stop happens to be human property, they will rudely make themselves at home there too. They forage in Aww. dumpsters, no, bowls poor, poor of pet food, and sneak into kitchens to claim leftovers. Not so just this our is homes, like Tom and Jerry and stuff and when they like, the ants come and grab the picnic baskets and stuff. They tend to hordes of aphids so guys know Tom and Jerry, right? The I'm aphids that feed from plants and produce a sweet honeydew, which they trade with the ants for protection. Oh. Since the ants have no major enemy to fear in their huh. new homes, the aphids this thrive is and ultimately kill the plants they live on. <laughs> in so our scale. On top of being a major disruption for the ecosystems they invade, they are also a huge pest for agriculture. I bet. But the rule of the Argentine ant is being challenged. Parts of the super colonies have broken off and become their own empires. Uh -oh. A merciless civil war has broken out. For example, the Lake God, Hodges super even colony ants, has been man. fighting against the very large colony for years in San Diego County. Huh. A massive war is going on over a dynamic front line stretching over kilometers. An estimated 30 kilometers. million ants die here each year. My God. On other fronts, an old acquaintance from the Paraná River has risen from the shadows. Uh oh. Red imported fire ants, which were accidentally fire introduced ants. from their old home to the coast of Alabama. Not only are the red fire ants fierce the music, man. and more than able to deal Makes it with the so intense. Ants, they are also able to form super colonies themselves. Yeah. Now the I don't know why I'm rooting for a different type of ant. Been taken <laughs> to a foreign battleground. This video is cool, the I like it. In the US, the super colonies clashed fiercely. Yeah. The Argentine ants found themselves outgunned by the fire ants. The fire ants' major workers are more than twice the size of the Argentine ants you get and fire ants. venom injecting stingers. So joke's Even on you, the buddy. Argentine ants fought fiercely, the fire ants were too much for them. Oh, that After was countless pretty lost gruesome. Battles, for an the red ant imported fight. fire ant exterminated the Argentine ants' super colony from much of the southeastern US. Yeah. This is one territory lost, but the Argentine ants will fight on. This amazing network of well, cooperating super colonies is the biggest then. success in their history and they'll not give it up because of a small defeat. They will stand their ground against any enemy that might I can't believe arise. they took down an ant, No uh, matter a if bee. it's on the Paraná River or on one of the large battlefields across the world. The ants. These I videos were developed with the support of CuriosityStream. Thank you, but I'm not gonna listen to it. All right, so that one, I, I don't know. I, I'm going to nickname them zombie ants. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that thought of that. But uh, that was really, really cool. And I did get to see my fire ant buddies. So hopefully he does a video exclusively for fire ants because that's the one that's right outside my door. I'm still waiting, anticipating. But I know there's like, a, am not going to say an actual number, but a lot. I know there's a lot of ant, different types of ants, kind of like everything else. But 
Uh, just fire ants, man. I want to see fire ants. <laughs> And I don't know why it's so important to me, but that video was amazing. Like, just rooting for an ant? Like, it's pretty cool. Like, there definitely needs to be, like, a movie or a video game or something about this. This was this was really, really enjoyable. I don't know why I enjoyed it as much as I did, but it was super enjoyable nonetheless. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like down below because it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one. So with that said, I have been Master Zero. Y'all guys have been fantastic, and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Later, Dave.